the idea of heresy became prevalent during the establishment of the early church, as it was used to describe acts or beliefs that were in contradiction to clearly revealed truths by God. In other words, if someone is or was called a heretic, it was the same as claiming that they're not Christian, and hence the term heresy. The whole point of heresy is to differentiate and exclude those who participate or practice against the established religion or religious denomination. So when discussing this concept, it's very difficult to skip past the Middle Ages. This began with the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD, and as I've said in many previous videos on this channel, throughout the Middle Ages, Christianity grew rapidly and it became the state religion of the Roman Empire in 380 AD under Theodosius. Now, the church and the state wielded the power to enforce punishments and resolutions against those who were deemed, like we said, heretical. Under Theodosius's reign, there was a plan to purge all pagan traditions, and by pagan I mean the existence of traditional Greek and Roman mythology, so beliefs in gods and other pagan practices wanted to be abolished. This may have had to do with power and cultural dominance, but there also is a case to suggest that people like Theodosius really believed that striking down heretical practices was in some way serving God, his message, and the church. The whole notion of heresy bred a lot of intolerance during medieval Europe, and arguably as far as up to the Age of Enlightenment, where new philosophical movements were able to make more sophisticated claims about religious belief, rather than attacking and criticising one another for differences in culture and theology. In 1054, the Great Schism happened with many new Christian denominations developing, and the claim of heresy became more and more prevalent. With more denominations, it was inevitable that each church saw each other as heretical for revolutionising their new belief systems or practices. And like I said before, the great example of this is the Great Schism, when the Roman Catholic Church excommunicated and labelled the Patriarch of Constantinople, Michael Carolarius, a heretic. This is because the famous... Philoloque controversy was not being upheld by the Eastern Church, and I've explained this in another video, which will be in the description if you're interested in this topic. During the Protestant Reformation with Martin Luther, who was also excommunicated by the Catholic Church under heresy, um, Luther undermined the Church authority, and in the eyes of the Catholic Church, that was seen as heretical. Um, once again, I've uploaded a full video on the Reformation and, and Luther, so if this interests you, I'll put a link in the description. Christianity through the church was an incredibly powerful institution. It was willing to strike down any potential threats and enemies. Some of the most common punishments for heresy was to be burned at the stake, and where heretics would really be burned in, in public spaces. One of the most famous individuals to be burned at the stake was Joan of Arc in the year 1431 for her ability to receive divine guidance, and this was something that the church did not want to hear or admit. However, it wasn't just the Christian world and the West that uh, really took up this notion of heresy. It was very, very prominent in the Jewish world and also the Islamic world, where different sects of each faith would criticise one another for, once again, heresy. In Islam, there are three major branches, which are the Sunni, Shia, and Sufi Muslims, and still to this day they call each other heretics and even have minimal communications with each other in, in some instances because of differences in religious practice. For Jews in Judaism, Orthodox Jews see more liberal and reformist Jews as heretical for not but holding traditional practices that are upheld in the eyes of the Orthodox Jews by sacred texts. Um, but that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more content.